Well, thank you very much, and namaste. I'm so happy to be here. I'm fairly new compared to a lot of people around here. New in the sense, new to you, but it's almost like I've known you forever, you know, for millenniums, maybe. So, I'm a physician, and so, which doesn't mean anything nowadays. So, with the way things are going, I'm at a crossroads in my career. We want to say something to you. We're happy to talk with you. But we just want to say something since you have introduced such a poignant word. The only crossroads you are ever at is the divergence from your path crossroads. In other words, your alignment crossroads. That's the only one. Mm -hmm. Because it feels like there are these choices. I should do that or that or that or that. But if you have been making the alignment choice, then you never feel like you are at a crossroads because the path is so clear. It's like only one path is lighted. It's not like, should I do that or that? It's once you've practiced following the path of least resistance, it is so clear what to do because you've already experienced the clarity of the vibration turning to the thought and emotion and then impulse and so forth. You see what we're getting at? I get it. And I'm crossroads only really comes if you haven't figured out how to follow your alignment and you're just trying to figure out what to do this or that, what to do this or that. Those feel like crossroads. Well, I misspoke there and I retrieved that phrase. You didn't, you didn't misspeak. You said exactly what you meant. I f and it's a good thing. It's a good point of clarification. Um, thank you. I needed to hear that. Well, my path is aligned. I know what I want. I have been a, always a very compassionate and well-loved and loving, generous physician. And now I'm going into teaching, and I did start an academic career. We're not going to keep interrupting you because we really want to hear what you have to say. Okay. And we can feel... The clarity. We called you because we know this is an right. important conversation. And I really needed to be here. So yeah. just relax. There's something that we want to say. You keep introducing poignant, perfect words into the conversation. Okay. So as we lay a basis with these words that you are inspired to, then what comes next will be meaningful not just for you, but for everyone else too. The word compassionate. So... We just want to say, because you've all heard the word and you know it means service. We just want to say true compassion is alignment and then attention. If someone captures your attention, but you leave your path in order to give them your attention. A lot of people call that compassionate, but it isn't compassion. True compassion is remaining on your path as you give them your attention really important distinction, mm -hmm. especially in the clarifying path that we are upon here today. Yes. My twofold question is that in this current situation where my profession has been so taxed to the point that from the time that I was four and made house calls with my father, the Norman Rockvellian kind of a physician, and now what's happening, I'm totally disappointed and conflicted we are so happy about that because when you say enough enough when you say enough what you mean is enough of me mucking around in life without my alignment that's really what you mean enough of me not being able to control things I want to control enough of people that don't know what they're doing making decisions that are important to me in my life enough but you see all of that is flawed premise on your part. None of that is happening. What you're really saying enough to, what you really mean enough, enough of me not utilizing my true empowerment, enough of me getting off of my path and not even recognizing that I am, enough of me proceeding without the whole of me being focused. That's the crossroads that you're at. I just feel that. Uh, Can you hear that? that I'm struggling and trying to fight against the, the behemoth, you know, and... But you see, that's what's so wonderful about this conversation. Can't fight against them. And even if you could gather together with enough others to fight against something and get rid of it, 
it would just rear its ugly head in another way and in another way and in another way because there's a flawed premise in it. And the flawed premise is that you have to fight against anything. The true premise is the only thing that ever slows you down or gets in your way is your own split energy. Mm -hmm. And right now you're giving something that seems to have a very good reason. You're using that as your excuse to split your energy. Mm -hmm. But what we hear from you, what we feel from you, what we know unequivocally is that what this is about is enough of my split energy. And we say in enough of giving you the credit enough of giving the messed up healthcare system the credit enough enough of giving anything that I don't have power over the credit for me not having power enough because in the throes of that momentum of course it's gonna suck you down and you're gonna have the experience of it but you're also gonna go to sleep tonight and that momentum is gonna subside and you can start another day you can come back into your alignment which is what you're fighting for what you're fighting for is your alignment yes. you see you can't control the current of the world. Esther said, Abraham, are we just supposed to go with the flow of what everyone else wants? And we say, no, that is not our message. Our message is decide what your flow is and go with that. But don't try to buck the current of those who are choosing a different flow. Mm -hmm. And if you just go with the flow, you just find what feels good to you. As you find what feels good to you, your alignment will carry you to everywhere you want to be. Just don't need anybody else to do anything different because they've got a different perspective. They've got a different path. It's not their responsibility to please you. It's only your responsibility to clean up your split energy. And that is so darn doable. It's so doable. Mm -hmm. It's so doable. When you come back to your power, the energy that creates worlds is flowing through you. And you can say, interception, please. Bam! So I did that at the academic institution and I had to resign because the numbers, the 10 minute slots and all those things. And I said, this is not People were writing notes before they saw the patients. I said, this is not done. This is not medicine. But you see, don't continue to beat the drum of that. Don't continue to beat the drum of it. And don't continue to try to elicit agreement from anywhere. Just know what you know and let it go. Let those things you can't control go while you garner alignment which you can control, which gives you ultimate control of everything that matters to you really I'm not kidding you in the throes of it we've said to people for a long time start with things that are easier don't take your life's purpose or the thing that matters more to you than everything else put together and let that be the thing that you're using to try to show yourself that you can stay in alignment just get in alignment on the things that are easy because it doesn't matter what subject you are using as your point of focus in order to get you into alignment alignment is alignment and will lead you to everything you put into your vortex so all the consternation and all the battles and all the struggles and all the wonderful contrasts that you've lived that has helped you define who you are and what you want you have put all of that over there now you've just got to find your path to it and what is so confounding is I've spent my entire lifetime moving to this and now you whoever you are are defeating me about this well that feels really big but it isn't true it's only your split energy that ever has that defeating quality you see mm. okay so I guess more alignment <laughs> No, I mean, truthfully. More attention to alignment, more recognition of alignment, mm -hmm. more recognition of not alignment, more catching it at the earlier stages, mm -hmm. more caring about alignment, more accepting the futility of accomplishing alignment through the control of anything else mm -hmm. other than your own direction of your own thought. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting because 
you can have an experience with this or this or this or this and after a little while you say wait a minute I'm the common denominator in all of this because I'm there in all of this and there is a sort of pattern that's showing itself to me mm -hmm. and once you reach that place and realize that you have control over the vibrational offering but it does take something that is really sincere and very serious it takes a realization of the importance of your feeling good because so many of you have sacrificed it to help that person feel good and to help that person and that one 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 until you're depleted you see and the thing is you don't get depleted when you stay in alignment when you stay in alignment you have enough for everywhere you want to focus it but when they make you mad, when there's injustice, when you're fighting a battle, then you are splitting your own energy. And in that depletion, you get weary. And then you say, either I give up or enough. I'm going to take a different vibrational stance. Yes, and that's why I'm here. I don't want to give up. And I'm just going to keep at it. So We want you to give up the battle. We want you to give up needing them to agree with you. We want you to give up your constant attention to the injustices because you can't focus on an injustice you can't defend or rationalize or even explain you know those conversations yes aren't they exhausting yes completely ah completely they are exhausting completely. because they are futile because they are wrong based in terms of the laws of the universe and most of all because they are you choosing off path you see and then so what you want to say to all of them is you know i'd like to straighten you out because you're stupid and wrong <laughs> but in order for me to straighten you out who are stupid and wrong I would have to leave my path where all of my resources are and I'm just not willing to do that anymore because every time I've done it no I've done it plenty all you do is get stupider and wronger <laughs> you just get bigger there's just more of you there's something else that we want to say to all of you hear this it really applies to you but it applies to all of you Esther used to say to Jerry every now and again I don't want to hurt their feelings and Jerry would say you'd rather hurt your feelings and Esther would say no but she meant yes because it's easy when you know you're strong and you know you have resources it's easy for you to do what somebody else seems to need or want even if you can feel that it's not on your path mm -hmm. but after a while it begins to take a toll on you because your attention to it splits your energy so what we are proposing to all of you for just a little while try it you're gonna like it and you're gonna come back into your true empowerment when you bump up against something that doesn't feel good now start again Esther said to us Abraham what do you think I should do about this and we said I think you should do what feels best to you and Esther said I am so tired of hearing that from you <laughs> We think you should do what feels best to you. We think that you should do what feels best to you every time. We think you should do what feels best to you. But before you can really know what feels best to you, you've got to practice feeling pretty good. You can't go from suffering, 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 suffering and jump right into even have any clarity about what feels best to you because when you've been suffering, suffering, all the choices suck so badly that none of them feel good so it just feels like a crossroads it feels like two bad paths and that's what it is if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next